Hello guys, another video here. So today I will try to make um, something like a um, program to translate the human language into Morse code. So the human characters, Latin characters to Morse code. I already have something like this, but we will do it with our own custom collection and stuff. And we will have a extension method and dictionary for that. And let's call this folder tools, just tools because we have a, here a new item, okay, class, one will be extensions, extensions, and another one will be our custom dictionary, let's call it more, let's call it uh, car dictionary. Character dictionary, okay. Okay, let's make them both public and let's make this one a custom class. Now I will show you how to use indexers in C sharp. So let's Google that. Use indexer in C sharp. Okay. So, yeah, basically. Let's copy and paste this. See? Okay. And I will make this card dictionary to be generic T. Okay. And based on the character C that we sent to it, uh, we will return an array of C minus uh, capital A. I will explain in a moment. So what's going on here? If we, so we will be working with uppercase letters. If you do operation of uppercase letter like C minus A, you get the value of C in the collection of all the values in the language. Um, so yeah. Um, for example, if you do A minus A, the result is zero. If you do this, the result is then two. You know, so we can store it in the array in this way by subtracting the A of. Okay, and this T array, how many items should it hold? I'm not sure, but let's say. 26 is there are 26 letters in the alphabet but yeah yeah let's let's say 27 just to be sure I'm not sure how many letters are there in the English alphabet let's call this inner array and since I like the cool syntax of the C sharp where you can do something like this this synthetic sugar. I like this way better. Okay, so it's this car dictionary. Um, okay, I showed you that I already got the collection of Morse code. It's from this task from Coding Game. Uh, I built it in here. Okay. So. So yeah, let's try to <laughs> get it all here. So we need to somehow uh, now convert this into our car dictionary. I mean store it into our car dictionary. So we'll do var new var dictionary equals new car di dictionary, which is from tools. Okay, but it's missing a type, so we will be connecting strings to characters. So, for example, we can do dictionary of A equals this first one, the first sign. Okay, but to 
to make it easier we'll just use the for loop I think there are 26 characters or just let's just do it like this more score that length okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 exactly anyways yeah let's be sure about it so that there's 26 and let's just say dictionary of a plus i equals um, equals the Morse code of i and now of course this needs to be a character so so we'll add these two together and convert it back to character so this way now we can write something in Morse code well, for example let's say um, console write line dictionary of let's say a uh, SOS let's do the SOS SOS the popular one C three dots three dashes three dots that's the popular Morse code okay but now we want an extension method that will do this for any string like any string when we press dot to Morse code um, to do so let's go and create a an extension method so extension method must be in a public static class uh, you start the signature by <coughs> excuse me with public static and now what do we want to return we want to return a string and we want to call it two more code and now over what we are extending we write it up here this source this string source is what we are extending and we need the dictionary for it as well so let's create an interface for it public interface I dic I car dic dic dictionary and let's make it have public public hmm okay let's google it that so C sharp indexer in interface okay so this is it basically string this okay no we we don't have this we have some sort of T okay and we have a T on char and it has a get and set in it okay pretty simple pretty cool why I'm doing this um, iCar dictionary is so that the extension can take any iCar dictionary and work with it. And uh, iCar dictionary that returns a string. Okay. And now in the extension method, I will go over the source, over each character of the source. Um, and uh, I will apply the dictionary to it first of all uh, for character I will use car to upper for character and then and then I will use the car dictionary 
and I will try to find character wrapper there okay and we need some sort of string to return so we will do that by by using string builder okay and in that string builder we will append that character from the dictionary and then we will return the uh, append all the appended characters also what we can do since we know this is a uh, morse code we can add this uh, one more thing bool add spacing equals true and if add spacing is true then we will just string builder dot append and append an empty space between each of them and again what you can do here at the end because we will have an extra spacing at the end of our Morse code and we, if we don't want that we can just string builder dot length minus minus and we will remove that uh, extra character at the end okay so now something like this should work so but it's expecting a dictionary as you can see and this dictionary does not actually implement this one yet so we will implement that so let's see if it fits it fits perfectly okay and now this works okay and let's try SOS let's try a few of them uh, console right line let's try SOS like this see it works okay let's try ASFDDDD close the right line like that see it works again it has that spacing and if we, do we don't want that spacing in any case then we will just send the false in the spacing parameter see no spacing now okay so that would be it for this tutorial so we built an extension method which converts the entire string to Morse code or any dictionary you can you know you can replace Morse code with anything you can create your own code language quote unquote quote code language with this and that's it basically thank you guys for watching and see you then next time